guys, what's up? It's your girl, AI the Great, and today I'm coming at you with another great video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My content is fragrances, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Now let's get started. Guys, today I'm coming to you with some of my favorite body products from the house of Joe Malone. I absolutely love Jo Malone, and not necessarily for the fragrances, but I do have a few fragrances that I've purchased, well actually just a couple, but then if you know anything about Jo Malone, you know once you order from jomalone.com or if you purchase from Jo Malone in store, you get a ton of samples. So I have sampled not all, maybe at least the majority of the Jo Malone fragrance collection, but what I've purchased with my own hard-earned coins are lime basil and mandarin and wood sage and sea salt now let's start with the lime basil mandarin so this is a travel size um i'll leave the price um in the video this is a travel size because i really love this scent but i love the body cream and the body wash of this scent so i've always had that i just purchased the fragrance like um maybe about a year ago just to just because, just to have. But this wasn't my first um, experience with lime basil mandarin. And now, let me tell you what this smells like to me. Do you guys remember Irish Spring? I don't know, do they even still make that? Maybe they do, I don't know. But I know as a child, when I was younger and I would buy my own soap from the dollar store or the 99 cent store, I used to buy Irish Spring. I loved Irish Spring, especially the blue one. And that is what this smells like to me. Lime Basil Mandarin smells like the blue Irish Spring. So let me tell you the notes. So it's a citrus fragrance. So there's lime, mandarin orange, bergamot, basil, thyme, patchouli, and vetiver. Or basil, basil, tomato, tomato. But yeah, so this, yeah, Irish Spring in a bottle. And I will say, so the fragrance is really, I love how this fragrance smells, but when we, when we start talking about the body products, I'm gonna let you know that the body products in Lion Basil Mandarin, if you guys haven't tried it, you must try it. In the morning time, taking a shower with the Lion Basil Mandarin um, body wash, it's so invigorating. It's just, it just wakes you up, wakes up all your senses. It's beautiful in the morning and in the shower. I love this. The other one that I purchased, which is my favorite, wood sage and sea salt. I'm gonna spray this one. This is beautiful. Now, my only issue with this fragrance is that the longevity is not there. But, you know, I went into it knowing that because like I said, my introduction to Jo Malone was from Room Spray. So, you know, I never, I never got into the fragrances. I didn't find an appreciation for a fragrance that had no longevity. At this point in my life, I, I absolutely love Beast Mode, high projection, heavy sillage fragrances, but I still can, there's a place in my life where I can use a fragrance that doesn't have to project like a monster and last for 13, 13 hours a day. So that is what made me decide to bite the bullet to actually get the fragrance. Um, but this is beautiful. This just is the, the, it's just a salty. It just smells like you're on a clean white beach smelling salty air. It's beautiful. So this has amber seeds, a uh, sea salt sage. Um, I believe there's grapefruit in here as well. This is a fresh, fresh scent, but it's very beachy, but not a suntan lotion type of beachy, just a fresh air salty air type beachy i love this and for me this is a summer a summer scent i'm gonna try it in the fall because i know there's a, a few people that i've heard talk about this and they like to wear it in the fall and the winter months i always felt like this was a summer scent for me but i'm gonna try it in the fall that's that so now let's talk about the other ones like i said when you order from jomalone.com the packaging oh, i love Jo malone's packaging i wouldn't if i there's a few fragrances that I will purchase from Neiman Marcus or from Macy's, but for the most part, I like to purchase my fragrances from the fragrance house. My Dior fragrances, um, I purchase them from Dior, like, you know, the, the Privé line from Dior. 
Um, oh, speaking of Dior Privé, um, if you have Balad Sauvage or have, if you ever smelled that, Wood Sage and Sea Salt is very similar to Dior's Balad Sauvage from the Privé line. But we'll talk about it, that in another another day because I may do a comparison actually with the two of them. Um, yeah, so you purchase from Joe Malone, whether it's from online or at the Joe Malone store or Joe Malone counter, they're giving you samples. Deluxe samples. The samples are so amazing that actually I never get through using my bottles because I'm always using one of the samples and you get a, a good size with these samples. So this is Water Lily. This was a new one, I guess. This is really sweet. It's sweet and fresh, but you know, I always, I use all these fragrances that I get from Jo Malone. This is um, Poppy and Barley, which I really like this one. This is another Wood Sage and Sea Salt. And this is Pomegranate Noir. Now, Pomegranate Noir, for me, this is a very introduction to fall. Fall is here, we're, we're getting ready for Thanksgiving. That is what this gives me. It reminds me of, okay, I don't know if, if you guys have a Hobby Lobby where you live. So I love going to Hobby Lobby during the holiday season to purchase my Christmas decorations. This smells like Hobby Lobby during the Christmas season. That is where this takes me. This takes me right in the aisles at Hobby Lobby purchasing my Christmas decorations for 50% off. Beautiful scent. So, and this is another uh, deluxe sample, Tuberose Angelica. Now this one, I wear this, I layer this one with my Gucci uh, Bloom fragrance because of the, the Tuberose in here is very strong and just like the, um, the Gucci Bloom. So I layer that because I don't have the Gucci Bloom lotion. Um, or um, body cream. So I use this tuberose Angelica and it works because the tuberose, this really just smells like tuberose. I don't too much smell Angelica, but the tuberose is very that, very prominent. Now guys, now here are my, this is my weakness from Jo Malone. Jo Malone body creams, guys, if you have, if you wear Jo Malone fragrances, you must purchase the body cream. One, because it'll extend the longevity of your fragrance. And for me, I've, you know, if, you, if this is your first time watching me, if you haven't watched any of my, my videos, make sure to subscribe. But um, guys, I am a layerer, you know, like I, that's my made up word. I love to layer. If there's a body wash, a deodorant spray, an oil, a body cream, I'm purchasing the whole shebang with whatever fragrance that I have because I just love to layer the scent and even for me the layering process starts my fragrance experience from the shower because I want to be in the shower and just smell whatever fragrance that I choose for the day it's, it's just a great experience it makes your shower experience good I take really long showers and that doesn't help that I'm smelling that perfumed body wash in the shower and it makes your whole bathroom smell like whatever fragrance it is and then the body lotion or the body cream and then you just top it off with the fragrance beautiful i love it so these creams so this one is wood sage and sea salt i'm gonna leave a closer photo so you guys can see the consistency of this cream it's great it's so thick it's really thick i absolutely love it and very moisturizing this cream feels oh and the scent, this is Woods Agency salt, guys. Oh. So that's this. Now, the red roses. Now, if you guys have a fragrance in your um, collection that is a very heavy rose scent, or just any fragrance that you wanna bring the roses out of that scent and you don't have the body cream, this Red Roses body cream is amazing. I layer this with certain fragrances. Because, oh, I can't open it now because <laughs> my hands are too slippery, but um, creams in, in um, Jo Malone, they all smell like what the name is. So this is Red Roses. This smells like fresh cut roses. Like you just got some roses and you're like, this smells just like Red Roses. This is the room spray that I had 
initially. So this was the scent that introduced me to the house of Joe Malone in the room spray. I no longer buy the room sprays because I just buy, I just use candles because kind of, I don't know, the room sprays are good, but after about 20 minutes, they dissipate into the air and you don't really smell them anymore. So it felt like a waste of money after a while. Okay, so for all my House of Siage Cupcake Mafia um, out there, so unfortunately, the House of Siage does not have body creams and body showers to go with their scents. I wish they did. And House of Siage, if you're watching, please come out with a line of body washes and body creams and body butters to the Signature Line scents. That would be amazing. Okay, so this is Orange Blossom uh, Body Cream, and this is Nectarine Blossom and Honey. Okay, so we're gonna get to the Nectarine in a second. Now the Orange Blossom, this is what I use to layer with my Benevolence from House of Siage. Guys, Benevolence is already a long lasting, high projecting, beautiful scent trail type of fragrance. When you layer it with this lotion, it is amazing because the Benevolence has an orange blossom note that's very prominent in that scent. And this is just orange blossom. I don't think anything else is in here except for orange blossom. So when you layer the two, oh, beautiful. Or any fragrance that you have with um, orange blossom. I have YSL Libre and um, I also, that has an orange blossom note and I also use this to layer with it. I used to use this under my Killian um, Love Don't Be Shy, but I have the lotion for that. So I don't, I don't need to use this anymore. But this, any fragrance you have with orange blossom and you want to bring the orange blossom scent out of that fragrance, this body cream is amazing. Like I said, it's creamy, it's thick, it's moisturizing. Love. Okay, so this is Nectarine Blossom and Honey. So the Nectarine Blossom and Honey, again, from my Cupcake Mafia, this with Holtz Bijou. And if you have a sample of Nectarine Blossom and Honey, do the, t do the side by side, um, you know, Nectarine Blossom on one hand and Holtz Bijou on the other. They're very similar. The only difference is Nectarine Blossom and Honey has a greener note a greener under note. I'm not sure if it's a vetiver, it's something green. But because Holtz Bijou is so sweet, you know, this this layer is so amazing under the Holtz Bijou. So, and we even with, before before I started using this, um, underneath it, I would use um, either a mango um, body cream or body butter or a grapefruit um, because it has, you know, those notes in it. But um, this smells like it's, you know, it's little sister. <laughs> okay. So these are the smaller sizes of um, the body creams. So this is Peony and Blush Suede, Lime Basil Mandarin, English Pear and Freesia, which, and this is Pomegranate Noir. Now the English Pear and Freesia, let's see if my hands are still slippery. No. And the small ones come with the, the like the plastic cover. The large ones don't. I I smelled English pear and freesia in the cologne version because I have a deluxe sample of English pear and freesia, and it was okay. I you know I wasn't. It wasn't. It's a nice smell. It's a nice scent, but I wasn't wowed by it. So I was you know whatever. I just have it in my samples bin, but um. The cream of English Pear and Freesia smells a little different. So that is amazing. So, you know, if you have English Pear and Freesia and you love it and you want to layer, the cream is amazing. Okay, so now let's talk about the Velvet. Um, this is Velvet Rose and Oud, but this is the shower oil. Guys, this shower oil, goodness okay first of all the scent is velvet rose and oud so i don't know what velvet smells like but this is rose and oud pretty much so any rose and oud scents that you have whether it's like something from montal uh, any rose and oud you have if you have this in your shower and you use this before you, your fragrance 
guys this is amazing so this is like an oil it's an oil consistency but once it gets wet it lathers up so if you have a if you shower with a loofah and you put maybe just two pumps because you don't need that much of this because it's so it's very um it's very strong like a little bit goes a long way and the scent is really strong you see this is one from the um the very the intense line that's why the bottle is uh black so you just just a couple of pumps it lathers up on your loofah and it's just it just leaves your body just feeling like silky just with a layer of just oil it but not greasy you know just really moisturized and if you're familiar with the L'Occitane 10 almond oil i have that which i'm obsessed with as well it's it's like that type of type of thing it's an oil but it lathers up to a soap beautiful guys you have to try this if you don't have it and this is like i said velvet rose and oud because I, I i like this with my oud scents as if i need to layer anything with oud and rose because all my oud and rose scents are really really strong um if you're familiar with dior's oud ispahan this and oud ispahan are like sisters so velvet body oil no shower oil velvet rose and oud and these are just like the little um body washes to um you know peony and blush suede english paraphrasia so but this here guys this is my star this orange blossom okay i told you about the orange blossom lotion and how i love to layer with the orange blossom lotion but guys i don't know what it is about joe malone's shower gels the sh well actually they're they're hand and body washes but i don't use this for my hands i use i keep these in the shower and i use these for shower for showering they are amazing and the scents they're so potent they're so strong this smells just pure orange blossom when you're in the shower guys this is just amazing if you like to feel refreshed and just up and just a a nice zing in the morning time this orange blossom would do that so amazing so i have this and then there's um the red roses i also have the nectarine and blossom the wood sage and sea salt guys joe malone bath products are a bath experience i love it and they also have bath oils it comes in a um it is, it, I'll, I'll put a picture of, of the bath oil, but it bubbles up. It, the, the lather is beautiful. Your whole entire bathroom will be smelling of whatever scent you choose. So guys, I know the fragrances from Jo Malone aren't, you know, a big hit because the longevity isn't there, but guys, their shower and body care products are amazing. I absolutely love them. Love, love, love. So what's next on my list is the grapefruit. Um, I didn't have a need for it before, but I have some fragrances with some grapefruit notes that I wanna, um, you know, layer up with that grapefruit. So that's it guys for my Jo Malone bath and body collection and just like a couple of fragrances. Um, but you know, you have to try if you don't if you don't have um, any of the Bath and Body products. And like I said, if you have the fragrances, you can layer with these. And even if you don't have the fragrances, these make great gifts. The packaging, like I said, is beautiful. So if you want to purchase, you know, a set like a body cream and a, and a shower um, gel for someone, it comes beautifully wrapped. The, the wrapping is very classy and classic and chic. It's just beautiful and um and the scent lasts so if, if and if you're a person that doesn't like fragrances but you just want to have a beautiful shower experience or bath experience the bath products are amazing guys leave it in the comments below if you're if you like joe malone's um bath products or if you love joe malone i absolutely love joe malone but not for the reason why many people would think because you know the fragrances i only own two that i purchased with my money but the bath products and the candles and the diffusers guys just have you and your home just smelling amazing so be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out i'll see you in my next video peace